my gosh, here we go again with the airplanes. Thank you, Aero Mexico. Really appreciate that. What's up, everybody? This is Tubasolo coming at you. Are you looking for a lightweight backpacking jacket that isn't going to break the bank? Well, stick around because Costco's got your back. What's up, everybody? My name is Steve, and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. If that interests you, consider subscribing. Now, let's take a look at this jacket. Whenever I go to Costco, I love checking out what they have as far as clothes are concerned. They always seem to have some kind of a jacket every single year that can be utilized for backpacking. Now, this year, I happened to run across the Heat 32 jacket. Now, uh, I've certainly seen products at Costco that are labeled Heat 32. I don't know if they come from a different product that's already out there that's probably a bigger name. But I personally have had a lot of success with any Heat 32 product that I've ever used from Costco. Friends of mine that I go backpacking with use Heat 32 products and they have had overwhelming success with their products. So needless to say, when I walked past this jacket, I thought to myself, well, hey, now look at that thing. That, that's kind of an interesting offering. Um, it is unique in that when I first saw it, it immediately looked like it was a lightweight jacket. And sure enough, when I picked it up, this is, this is the 2X version. But despite the fact that it's a 2X version, it's actually incredibly light. And when I put it on, it's incredibly warm. It's using this cloud fill technology, which really to me, it just looks like a synthetic fill. Probably some of the same stuff that they put into modern jackets right now. But yeah, when I saw the word cloud fill, I thought to myself, okay, that's gotta be light. And sure enough, it was. It's uh, definitely not as light as the Torrid Apex jacket. But um, again, if you're, um, you know, unable to purchase a Torrid Apex jacket, this might be an option for you. And I know for me at least, it is definitely lighter than some of the jackets that I've carried over the years before I got the Torrid Apex. Another thing that's really nice about this jacket is it's actually fleece lined. Now, hopefully you guys can kind of see that in the camera, but not only has your typical nylon material, but it's also fleece lined in certain areas. It's fleece lined on the sleeves and it's fleece lined on the uh, it's fleece lined on the shoulders so all across the shoulders you got fleece lining and then on the side you have fleece lining also some of the other features include you got an internal stash pocket that's that's pretty doggone massive I have to admit I'm pretty quite pretty surprised at how big that is I can fit you know my entire hand wide open in there and uh, yeah, it's barely filling up all the area in there, so that's pretty nice. And then on the inside over here, you just have the inner pocket from this outside zipper pocket where you can put your cell phone. And I have an iPhone 7, uh, 7 Plus, and it fits in here, no problem. Some of the other features include zippered, uh, uh, zippered pockets. They are lined with nylon material. I don't know how I feel about that. I know that I have a couple other jackets that have some other material in there, and it always seems that whenever I go backpacking, my hands get really chapped. And I often wish that the lining of what I'm putting my hands in has uh, some kind of a nylon material or something that's smoother. It seems like whenever it's um, got any sort of heavier material in there or some kind of fleecy material, I always seem to put my hands in there and it just feels awful on my chapped hands. Um, but yeah, maybe you don't have any problems like that and uh, you know it's no big to you but for me I certainly like the nylon pockets. One other really nice aspect of the jacket is the cuffs. They, they stay rather snug around the arm but they definitely have enough room that if you were wearing gloves you can easily you know work them underneath or put your hands through. Uh, so it's you know form-fitting but uh, certainly loose enough to work with in the areas that it needs to be uh, loose. The, the only concerns I really have are, are areas where there's stitching because any, any place where you have stitching, there's a potential for wind to get through. And it feels like to me from what I'm feeling here is that the stitching does in fact all the way, you know, go all the way through. So uh, you're probably gonna wanna use this jacket with some kind of a wind shirt, um, you know, either underneath or over. I typically uh, use a wind shirt underneath. That way it traps more heat on the inside over there. But um, yeah, that's one of the areas of concern that I have. There's just a lot of seams, you know, a lot of places for wind to get through. But again, um, it still feels like it's got some nice loft to it. And uh, I have to admit, when I put this thing on, I immediately get hot. Now, grant that it is hot, you know, in my area right now, but even when I was in Costco inside the air conditioning, when I put it on, I immediately felt warm when I'm inside the house, got the air conditioner running. 
um, I immediately feel warm. So it, it certainly seems like it's doing, uh, doing the trick. One other really nice aspect of the jacket too is that it actually folds down pretty small overall. Now again, remember this is a 2X, so this is the, the biggest that they make. If you're more of a normal size person where you wear either medium or large, it's ne definitely not gonna be as big as this. And then also with that giant pocket, I'm interested to see, can we actually turn the jacket into its own pocket? And probably this is not suggested, but we're gonna try it anyways. Not very likely that we'll be able to do this, but maybe you never know with the other size jackets, if they have the same size pocket pretty much, uh, you might be able to fit the entirety of the jacket in here. So without pushing it too far, a good portion of the jacket did already make it into there. And it just makes it that much smaller overall. So that might be an option for you if you're interested. One of the really nice feature too on this that I was kind of worried about initially when I would grab the jacket and then when I got home I finally realized that it actually has a draft, I guess a draft um, a material to kind of keep the draft out from the zipper. Um, I guess you can call it a draft collar, yeah, draft collar on the main zipper. And then uh, this is a hoodless version but also what's really nice too is the neck feels very substantial, like it's well padded so that when it closes up it'll keep your neck nice and warm too. But that is pretty much it. That is the Heat 32 jacket from Costco. 20 bucks, man. It's gonna be hard to beat. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it useful, let me know by leaving me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. That way you'll get a notification every single time I post a video. Until next time, take care.